Hello, Just Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the full 2008 LEGO Store and Shop at Home catalog, which is based on LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars, or at least the cover is. Now, if you guys have been watching for a while, I'm not really too much of a fan of Clone Wars. I've seen a few episodes, I've liked it, followed the story, but, I don't know, just something I didn't dedicate too much time to. I've actually been watching the new season of Rebels, which I've been enjoying so far. First that they show here is the Republic Attack gunship, and a lot of these, you know, they're, they're, the reason they're showing a lot of these Clone Wars sets is because this was... Uh, when they were released, because uh, the movie came out, I think, August 2008, and that was before the show was out. Um, you also got an ATTE Walker, which I like a lot of these for the figures, oddly enough, which um, I never liked the faces of the figures, but I like to like a lot of the pieces. So, for example, for, like, uh, Anakin Skywalker, I liked him because of his hairpiece, and that was something that didn't come in, like, any other set. So I actually ended up getting him for Christmas and just using his hairpiece because... That was really cool, but I, I didn't really get any of these sets. Um, just nothing really for me. I, I have an ATTE from Episode 2, and I, I, I built it up because I got it on massive clearance, and I never liked that set. There's a V19 Torrent and Magna Guard Starfighter, which I like the Magna Guard minifigures. We also got the Twilight, which I don't think they've ever remade, which was the chicken vehicle, as I call it. It's a very peculiar looking thing. Um, I do like the Ahsoka minifigure as well, um, despite that goofy face. All the Clone Wars minifigures have these really weird faces. Um, we got a droid gunship, Rogue Shadow, which uh, was based on Force Unleashed, which was such a cool idea to you know make into a Lego set. I actually sort of wanted this set for the minifigures, and now I think this goes for a lot, because it was just like the one-off set on the Force Unleashed. One of the few expanded universe sets from Lego. Um, we also got a spider droid, which I got the most recent one of that, and like the 2013 version, and I didn't care for either of them. And Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, which was weird because it came out in January 2008 before any Clone Wars type, like toys came out. The next page, you got the General Grievous, uh, what is it called? Uh, the UCS kind of General Grievous figure. The Imperial Dropship, which I think was a really solid uh, battle pack. Now you got some uh, OT Stormies and even a, a Shadow uh, Stormtrooper or something like that. And you have a uh, Rebel Scout Speeder, which is another good one. Very cool figures. My cousin had both of those, I think. And uh, Episode 3 AT AP Walker and uh, Hellfire Droid and Spider Droid, uh, which I got the most recent. Yeah, I got the 2015 version of that, which, eh, I don't know. It was okay. Um, you also got the UCS Imperial... ATST, uh, the UCS TIE Advanced, and everybody's favorite, the UCS Millennium Falcon. Um, this sucker is like what? Five? No. Let me think. Like $2,000 on eBay? I don't even remember. Just a lot of money sealed. Um, the ISD, uh, which is really cool. And look, that's even on sale, which they don't do usually with direct consumer sets. 200 bucks for a $300 set. That's actually really cool. And of course, you got the Death Star 2. Another, this one's worth a lot on eBay now too. Um, because it was it was a full size Death Star, it wasn't like made for minifigures like the most recent one, and this was on sale as well. You got instead of three hundred, it's two hundred. Huh. I hope they make another one like that instead of you know how they have the most recent one. Anyways, we're on to uh, Indiana Jones. You got uh, some cool sets, motorcycle chase, which I just won on eBay for like thirty bucks. So happy about that. Very good deal because usually these go for fifty. My Friend has this. I'm going to try to get these off of him. Um, he says he knows the value. He just, he just he needs me to take them off his hands. Love that set. And it's cool because he kept a lot of them in good condition. Um, Temple Escape. Always wanted that set. It's one of the most violent LEGO sets ever if you saw that video. Uh, we got the Temple of the Crystal Skull. My friend has that set as well. Um, same friend that has the Lost Tomb. River Chase, which my cousin had and sold. And Jungle Blue, which I do have this one. Uh, but it's totally like disassembled. Disassembled. Uh, we got some Summer 2008 Agent sets. Swamp Parade. I wish I would have got this set. This is a cool set for 20 bucks. Cause you got a play set. You got a little vehicle. Cool minifigure. Um, Mission One Jetpack Pursuit. I remember this was one of the first Lego sets. I think I got with my own money. Uh, like it was Summer 2008. I got that in the the Dwarf Catapult, which we'll get to soon enough. I hope it's in here. And uh, Mobile Command Center HQ, which was one of the most disappointing LEGO sets because it would always break on me. I got that for Christmas of that year. Also, uh, we got to Mission 4 Speedboat Rescue, which I never was interested in. I don't know. I don't like the look of the speedboat. I like a lot of speedboats, but more like civilian stuff rather than... Or I guess not... No, I like fishing boats. That's better. I don't really like speedboats. I like fishing boats. 
Those designs are always cool to me. Um, the same friend that has the Indiana Jones stuff has this, and he said I could take it off his hands. So I'm hyped for that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to review them. This set, my brother was so close to getting. I probably told this story before for Christmas, and somehow he changed his mind last minute. That same Christmas, though, I got Gold Hunt, which I don't like this set, actually. I don't I don't like it, surprisingly enough. I just got it because of the minifigures, even back then. This should have been... Uh, did I put this on the list for the good sets? No, the the good, the good bad sets with good minifigures, because this would make the list, um, honestly. Like, uh, I don't like that set. I just want it for the gold and the minifigures. Um, anyways, Coast Guard 2008. This was summer in 2008. Um, eh, this one's meh. We know we're getting Coast Guard summer 2017. Um, Coast Guard Patrol Boat. Did my, no, my cousin had the Harbor set from the year before. Um, eh, didn't really care about that. Coast Guard Helicopter. Uh, didn't really care about that. Yeah, I don't really like any of these. This one's okay. My cousin had this and he had this one. I have this one. Um, good. That's a good set, but these two... Yeah, this one's kind of overpriced even back then. Five bucks for that. Meh. This one's a good price though. Uh, Ten bucks for this vehicle because they released one in 2013 and it was 20 bucks and it was like the same size. I think even with less pieces, it was ridiculous. Um, what else we got? Police pontoon plane. I remember this was a, was a Walmart or Target exclusive or maybe even Toys R Us. Um, but this one was like a later release. Very interesting. Um, and then we got uh, the airmail. I love this set. This set I got Christmas 2008. Incredible set. I wish I got the mail van too. I've been stocking the mail van on freaking uh, eBay recently because I like that set as well. Police helicopter. That was available up until like 2012 or something. I always used to see that. Um, cargo plane. My I think both of my cousins had this one. But I didn't get it. Eh, didn't really care about it. I like the mail stuff more than cargo stuff. Like I like the yellow color scheme and you know they're delivering letters and stuff. Uh, police headquarters. My brother has this set. Very cool set. I, still one of my favorite police stations. I think it's mm, one of the newer ones. Uh, the twenty, the 2017 one I don't really care for. I like the 20, was it, I think it was 2014 or 2011, the one with the circular like corner type build. Um, police command center. I always like this set. I think this is still the strongest police command center because the ones they released recently are much smaller. Uh, which I actually think this is one that would benefits from being bigger and you even get like a little police station side right there. I don't know. I like that set for 45 And it's an award winner set. Um, we've got these little impulse sets. I'll tell you which ones I have. I have that. I have that. I have that. I have that. This was actually a poly bag, which is weird, because these were all box sets, little impulse boxes. This was a poly bag. These two I don't have. I think my cousin had this, and my friend had this. I always wanted this one, but this one was kind of hard to find. Um, now, I think, is it this? One of these, it might have been this one, goes for like 30 bucks on eBay. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's the airport one, the airport one, which they don't show here. Um, it's like airport worker or something. It was an impulse set that was three fifty, and now it's like 30 bucks on eBay. Service station, my cousin actually has this good set, uh, so much better than the most recent service station because you can see it's 40 bucks for 402 pieces. I know inflation and everything like that, but the newest one's 90 bucks for like 500 pieces. Ridiculous. Um, this was the last city event calendar I ever got. It reminds me, I gotta open up the Star Wars 2016 advent calendar. I'll probably do that when I come home for Thanksgiving. Community workers, I almost got that set actually, but I'm glad I didn't because it's just meh, a lot of generic torsos and stuff. Then they even have an XXL mobile crane. I think it was from like what 2006 construction or something, 2007 maybe. I don't know. I know 2009 had construction again. Um, great sets under. Oh, there you go. That that's the one I was talking about. Airplane mechanic. That's the one. That was three fifty, yeah. That was that goes for like thirty bucks on eBay. I don't know how much Mini Digger goes for. Police car I saw for a while. That was available for a while. Street Sleeper is not a, that's not a bad set either. Um, this one I saw forever too. I almost got this recently. Um, this was like in twenty fourteen where I saw it for like seven bucks. I was like, you know what? Let's finally get it. And I never did. Mini forklift. I actually put this on my Christmas list once. It was the only Technic set I ever wanted. But I always liked forklifts, and yeah, I never got it. Uh. My cousin had a lot of these tiny turbos. Yeah, I mean, it's cool because my cousins liked Lego. Um, and my one of my cousins still has the <laughs> Fire HQ. What is it called? You know the the modular firehouse. And I'm trying to get it off of his hands. Uh, Crystal Hawk. I don't like Mini Robot. I do like uh, Troll Warrior in the Night. Um, those are th these are actually good like battle packs now if you think about it. Um, this one I would probably get. Mini trains. Oh, I remember looking at this a lot for Christmas, um, and then I, I did the 
Christmas 2008 one. Um, because just there was just a lot of these small sets. I was like, I want that, I want that, I want that. But, you know, it's a little bit spoiled back then. It's like a big piece of hair just attached to this. That's great. Um, magnet photo frames. I've never seen those before. Uh, Brickmaster, nothing too interesting there. These kind of blew my mind because I remember seeing these on Brickopedia. It was like, sets not released. And then it showed these two and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the future. It was crazy. Uh, d d d these, I remember seeing, was it cool? No, I think it was this one. This was, no, maybe it was the, yeah, was it this one? One of these was on the back of the Eggo Waffles, Lego Eggo Waffles, and it got me hyped because I was like, oh my gosh, Lego is on the back of Eggos. I would buy them just for that, and I did not like the taste of them because they were just plain waffles. That's when I didn't know the, the magic of syrup. Um, anyways, this one right here, Lego Golden Anniversary set, that's because 2008 was the 50th anniversary of the Lego brick patent. They even had a golden brick. This is kind of a cool box, though. Like, if, if this was released nowadays, I would probably get it because it's just, it's a collector set, you know? Like, such a cool looking box. Um... Transportation Fury, not bad, not bad, um, pretty cool. And you got some base plates. Now they're like more expensive, I think. Uh, ooh, some SpongeBob. I remember this, the emergency room. I remember I was on vacation once and they had this set for 12 bucks on Shop at Home and I was so ticked off that I couldn't get it because I was like, oh my gosh, I, like I think it sold out by the time I got home. And you know, back then I, I didn't order a lot of my own stuff. Um, these two I so regret not getting. I actually saw this on eBay for six bucks opened recently. That was like a few months ago, and I, I did not get it because I just, I can't buy used sets anymore. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, these are very solid sets for back in the day. They're just so cartoony. I guess they appeal more to me now as I get older. I don't know why. Because I, I like a lot more cartoony Lego sets now than when I was younger, which is weird to think about, but yeah. This was crazy. Castle Chess, oh my gosh, 200 bucks. We got like a thousand minifigures, what, 31 minifigures. This is a gorgeous looking like build, so I, I think that's worth the money. And I know the base plate underneath, I think, is a 48 by 48, but I think it has stuff glued onto it. And it has 2,481 pieces. That's incredible. Got a Castle Coin Bank and the Funnel Joust. I remember I got this at Kmart for cheap, um, like for five bucks. That's actually when I said, oh yeah, I'm going to buy all the Fantasy Castle sets. I never did, but still. I, did, I got this for Easter 2009, I think. Never got that. Never saw this. Like, I never saw this in store. No, I never saw the Skeleton Warship from the year before. That one just got, like, wiped off of stores quick. Um, Troll Battle Wheel, I remember that I got this for my friend for his birthday. That was a Toys R Us exclusive. Pretty cool now, looking back. Uh, this Dwarf Defender. This was the one I was talking about that I got with the Agent's Jetpack Pursuit set. I got those at the same time. And then I got one more, like, the Crossbow set, I think it was, from 2007. And those were like some of the first sets I brought with my own money, even though it was like pocket change. And then you guys know the story of when I, like in 2009, when I brought like new sets with my own money. So these are just like little stories. I kind of mix them up sometimes. I don't know. This, I always wanted. Me and my brother always wanted this, but it was so much money back then, 60 bucks. That was like incredible to me. Now it's like 60 bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. Because, you know, I have a job and everything like that. So it's just like everything's easier, I guess. Uh, Mars Mission. You guys know I'm not a sucker for Mars Mission. Ugh, that looks ugly to me. This looks weird. Never seen this set before, but I get all these mixed up, really. So I have seen them. I just, I can't differentiate them. I remember this one, the driller, but like, I can't recall these off the top of my head if I wasn't looking at them. See, these these all look the same to me. Like, I was watching Jang's review of them, and I'm just like, oh man, I can't, I just can't get into this line. Like I said, my cousin liked Tiny Turbos. I think he had this one. I wanted the one that had the vending machine. There's like one from 2009 that has a vending machine. You got some Ferrari stuff. Um, big collector for a F1. You know, I don't know much about cars, so I don't even know what I'm saying. So, Bionicle 2008, uh, not, no, I don't know much about Bionicle, like, back in the day. Uh, I remember this one, I used to always call this one the one with the gun, because this was, like, 80 bucks, it was crazy for a Bionicle set, and it was in a box, which kind of blew my mind. That one was 30 bucks. You know, these are vehicles, not, like, guns. I, I always thought they were just big guns. You got some Technic stuff, not really a fan of that. Mindstorm, just never really got into that, except the original back when they used to have classes for it and stuff these were weird because these were um let me stretch uh, okay these these were for um uh, lego what is it called lego factory i believe that's the, the name of it and basically people i think it was like kuso where people would make it in i don't know uh i, I mean i always assumed like people made these and then they submitted them as models 
and they got enough votes or something, but maybe they're just made by Lego. I don't even know. This one's cool because it has a little Easter egg of the guy wearing a Dr. Inferno shirt from uh, Agents. But, like, th this one's okay. I think my friend had this one. Because, um, you know, the, the cars are pretty unique designs, and I like the little garage. These are kind of weird. These space ones, because they're just very bland, in my opinion. Space Skulls and Star Justice. They, they don't, like, I don't know. They don't call back to any, like, space, classic space themes. They're just kind of their own thing, which I do like, but they're very boring in my opinion, because like they, they, I don't know, they just don't look unique to me. It's it's hard to explain why I don't like these, but I just, I never liked those at all. And I remember they kept like marking down the price because I guess nobody bought them. Um, I mean, Custom Car Garage, you can see this one was cheaper than the other ones. These were both a hundred, which blows my mind. Space Goals and Star Justice. I guess it's worth it for the pieces, but there's like no specialized pieces. Custom Car Garage was always 70, um, I guess. Oh, huh, yeah. Uh, but that one's probably the most impressive out of all of them. And I'm not even, like, a car guy. Of course, we go on to uh, Green Grocer and the other modulars. Uh, I do have that. I got that Christmas 2008. Oh, my gosh. This position is, like, making me out of breath. It's just a really bad position. Uh, Cafe Corner, of course, uh, that was 2007. And Market Street, that was 2007. This was a Lego factory set as well. So it goes along with the Space Gold and all of them. Now these two are like thousands of dollars sealed. Same with Korean Grocer. I think that's the cheapest out of those three. Taj Mahal is like what? I don't even know. Three thousand dollars sealed. Almost got this set too. Crazy. Just it's. I think it's still the biggest Lego set. I might be wrong. The set with the most pieces. Yeah, and that was almost six thousand pieces. It was only three hundred dollars. Very cool looking thing. Town Plan I did get in Christmas two thousand eight. Love that set. Incredible set. Uh, just fantastic. Looks great with all the little buildings. Uh, the, the cinema is just one of my favorite buildings of all time in Lego. The chapel is great too. And the, the gas station itself, I didn't like at first, but now I love it. It's just like a 50 style gas station. It's still my only Lego gas station besides the convenience store from Shell in 1999. Volkswagen Beetle, I think that's a terrible set nowadays because the, the new one is just so smooth. This one looks so blocky. It's just crazy how it changes. Sorry for the awkward cut there, but I noticed that <laughs> when I flipped the page from the Volkswagen Beetle, it showed my address and everything. So I'm used to it being on the top right here. But of course, we got that 2008 Death Star, which is cheaper than the new one. Yes, I know there's inflation and everything, but this was just retired in 2015, at the end of 2015. So that is it for this catalog. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was cool looking back at the castle stuff and some of the exclusives like the green grocers and the factory stuff. Um, but I, I don't know. I was I was expecting there to be more stuff in here. But I guess 2008 was a smaller year than I remember. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.